Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to record your gameplay or your movies or your TV shows, whatever you want to record, um, with the Hop Hog, Hop Hodge, whatever it's called, uh, HD PVR. Uh, I, I use a program called ITV. It's probably the best one out for there for the Mac. Uh, as soon as you plug it in, as soon as you open it, sorry, the my USB cable is already plugged in. So ITV opens up, and here's the preview window. Now, I have it on mute because I don't like the sound of the TV coming up through the speakers because, as you can see, there's a slight delay. I'll move the analog stick over. You can see that it takes a second for the uh, menu to move over. That's because it's not meant to be used as a monitor. It just meant for your gameplay. So I'll press the record button here and go back and forth a couple times. Then I'll play a quick bit of a movie. You know, you'll hear the sound in the background. It's coming from my TV. It's not coming from the computer. So that's how that works. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. I'll close the preview window now. Uh, what I do here, you can right click. It has certain things here if you want it for the iPod or the iPad or whatever. I right click export. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you my settings. Um, so on display, uh, standard TV doesn't matter because I'm using an HD. Put on progressive scan if you can, if you have a fast enough computer, because that's the best quality. Under devices, my quality, I have at 13.5 megabit per second constant bitrate, so it's going to have the best quality it can. That's how that's all set up. So now, right click export. I missed it. Right click export. Uh, I'm just going to put it on the desktop. I will call it test. Now, you can go through all your different kinds, HD720. To be honest, on YouTube, just put this format, the H264. It's fast. It's like not that big of a file size. It's good for what it is. So there, it exported already. And as you can see it on my desktop, I can just press the space bar. It'll open up with the sound. As you can see, it didn't have the sound when I was recording, but it does when it's finished going through and after it's been exported. So I'm going to open up iMovie now. I'm going to open up this project I have. Let's just drag one of these clips in here as well, just so we have something. Um, let's drag this one in. So drag that in. Now, you go to File, Import, Movies. I've gone ahead and done a keyboard shortcut shortcut like uh, through my system settings. So I go Command, Shift, I. And I'll import the test. Shouldn't take that long to optimize it. Because when I did it, if you didn't see, I optimized for full. Because then I can change the speed of it. I can change all that stuff without having to wait later on. It's worth, it's worth the time doing it now. Um, as you can see, this is the most painstakingly slow part of it. It's, I got a fast computer so it's not that bad but 30 second clips take about a minute to transfer through sometimes even more but if you've got nothing else running and there's a lot of RAM going towards iMovie it won't be that big of a deal. So my ITV project is open I'm opening up the test one here I'm going to put it into iMovie. So now it's generating the thumbnails. It's all done. So here it is down here. I'm going to click on it. Command A to select it all. And drag it in here. So what I could do... Um, I select a couple clips here by accident, I guess. I guess I'll just delete this one. Um, I'm going to go through it just to see what it's like. Okay, I know which one it is now, so I'm going to clip it about here. This is just like going through a little bit more of a process how you get your videos done. So you can split the clip and then click it, press delete. Now press spacebar. As you can see, it's pretty good. Is it the 
there's a little bit of a crop thing when you use the HDP VR. So click off here, anywhere on the sidebar. Command A to select everything. Now press C for your crop. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of black around here, on the top and the right hand side. So I just take it off about that much, move it more to the center, and then press enter. So that'll do it for all your clips. Now you can go ahead and add your transitions, whatever you want. That'll let's cross blur, we'll throw it in there. And then we'll fade to black at the end of this. So here's what the cross blur looks like. Actually, I'll, I'll show you what this clip is, just so you know. It's coming up in a video upload in a couple days, but that's uh, how the guy is using it. Uh, so those are pretty. I got a couple of those clips coming up. So here's what your other thing looks like. Your um, transition is your cross blur. Now here's a little clip of Despicable Me I had going during the preview. The preview looks a bit blurry. That's because the movie that I obtained, I use that word loosely. I, you know where you all know where to get movies, but the movie that I got was not that good of quality. So it's not gonna be that good. And here's your little fade to black. Okay, now once you're done, you can go to File, nope, I lied to you, go to Share, then go to Export Movie, HD 720p, and then you can just save it from there. Uh, you can also share and put it right to YouTube if you'd like to. So that's what I, that's my process, I go through iMovie. If you want any more videos like this, more in-depth on how I record or how I go ahead and edit them, you can ask for it. And uh, if you want any more Mac tips, I'm pretty good with my Mac as well, so I can help you out there. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I help some people out. I know most people use a PC, but Macs are better than them, so hopefully there's at least a couple subscribers that use one. So uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and get me some more viewers, please. I had a little downfall lately. My subscriber count went down 100. My view, my uh, view counts, not getting as much, but get me some more of those. Maybe I'll have a giveaway or something like that.